I think self-awareness, while it may not seem directly related to communication, is foundational and really critical in my opinion, because I think that <clears throat> what we know and what we're seeing as we really continue studying human psychology is the way we talk to other people is very often a consequence of how we're talking to ourselves. So for instance, if I tend to be really critical of myself, if I hold myself to a really high standard and I constantly feel like I'm falling short, I might be hard on myself and I might be negative and I may not intend it to come across, but the way that I'm talking to myself, the language that I use, the tone, the attitude, all of that, will come across when i'm talking with other people so i as a leader may be overly critical of someone's efforts right and i might think well i'm just holding them to the standard that i hold myself to but they don't necessarily understand where you're coming from and so i think that's why it's so important and just to be happier and more fulfilled as a person mm -hmm. it's really nice when we're kind to ourselves and so i think that self-awareness that willingness to go inside of ourselves that's really what i specialize in helping leaders with is to go inward to confront the stories the expectations the unresolved trauma that is influencing us and how we show up every single day we start to go inward to say what are those influences why am i showing up the way that i am why am i behaving why do i believe the way that i do and when i can get really familiar with that and i get comfortable and confident in owning my voice and my truth, then how I show up and communicate with others will definitely change.